Hi, I'm Jenny with Show Me Cute, and today I have another painted shoe idea for you. Another one that I um, have on the channel is for younger girls. This painted shoe is for older girls. Um, as you can see, I have started with a pair of white shoes. I got these at, um, where did I get these? Payless Shoe Source, and they were $16.99. Um, this is the original shoe. You can see it's just a white slip-on. And this one we have started painting with our base color. Um, I've used uh, just some regular craft paint that I got at Michael's or Walmart. And these craft brushes, I um, have some paint on my plate and my brush. And you just start painting the shoe. You don't have to worry if you get the paint on the rubber that can easily be wiped off with just a wet rag. The part that you do have to be careful on is getting the edge of this close to this where it's canvas. You can't wipe that off. So um, this is the first step in our paint and shoe process and check back in just a minute and I'll give you the next step. Okay, step two is to draw your design on your shoes. I found the design that we wanted to do um, on Google Images and it, this is the damask print and we wanted to do it exactly the way we found it so you can see in the background it's kind of a grayish gold background color and the print is in black and that's what we'll be painting that on. Actually um, you can also do it with Sharpie as well as the paint. So if you um, zoom in you can see that I have drawn my design on th this shoe. It's on the toe. And the good thing about working with the canvas shoe is uh, you can draw in with pencil, and if you mess up, you can erase on that and start over. I'm going to start drawing the print on the second shoe, and I'm just going to mirror image, do the same thing on this one. So I just started at the top, you can't really mess this up. Um, you can, you just go. I already drew that one, so I'm just copying and doing the same thing. They're not gonna look exactly the same, because you can't do that, but I'm going to make my best attempt. Hi, I finished my damask print. I painted everything in that I traced. And this is how we look. Um, with this, you have a couple of options. You could just leave it if you're really good with your lines um, and getting the outside edges with your with your brush. If you're really good and you and it, you like how it looks, you could leave it. Or you can also go back and take Sharpie, and you can outline the edges. And you don't even necessarily have to do all of it. Um, for instance, this one, I'm going to go back with my Sharpie and just kind of clean up some areas, some of the edges. Um, and I can go back and mess with it for a while. Um, but then I also added some polka dots, as you can see, to my design. And I did that with the end of my paintbrush. This one is um, a, a fatter paintbrush, and you just stick it into the paint, and, um, and then you take the end, and you just dot it like that, and it gives you um, a good dot that's easier and better looking than what you can do with a fine paintbrush. So I added some dots, and here's our sides, and that is our damask print. The last thing you need to do to your shoe is to spray it with some waterproofing spray. I got this kind at, I believe, Walmart, just in the shoe department. Most shoe stores or anywhere they sell shoes normally will have a waterproofing spray. Um, I just got that one and it will help protect your design that you've worked so hard on. So I think these are pretty cute. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check back later for another cute idea.